It's another beautiful day, although not surprising, there's about 270 odd days is there of sunshine down this way. I think that's what the trip leaders say. And uh, is he going to lead the way, is he? If you can get out the divots, there we go. No, I thought I was leading the way, but apparently he is. Okay, cool. But today is the day. Oh, even can I get out even? There we go. Today is the day we are delivering. But we are we've set off quite early. Not delivering till one o'clock I don't think. And it's only ten o'clock at the moment. Quarter past ten. And we're just gonna make our way down to the very last services available and then sit there until near the time. Uh, best case scenario when we get in today is they will give us a little pass that lets us park for free in the Grimaldi parking lot for the whole week. Next best option we have to leave, spin around somewhere and go back in Twitly to Vent Amelia, spend a week in there. The truck's not as secure is decent parking, you can walk down into town. Worst case scenario, gotta spend a week in the services, which is not very good. Uh, road works, is that eating away a load of the parking? Quite possibly. That's eating away some, there's a few trucks up there. I think you're supposed to turn right there. That's where the truck parking is. Everything else is gone. Uh, a couple of spaces there, possibly. And that gets us out of the way of everybody, at least, and we can just sit here for 30, 45 minutes until it's closer to uh, when we need to go. did say that once we get out, it was going to let me overtake and lead the way. Because uh, he's not sure about his route and he's only done it once before. Right, it begins. I've never come into Monaco from this direction before, I've always done it along the coast road. So I don't really know what I'm doing. No, it's definitely Monaco there, it's uh, no doubt about that. Yeah, there's the stadium, there's a harbour just outside, that's the border right there. Between eight and nine hundred. Uh, I don't know, I'm... I'm gonna go this way, since this is the way I know. not sure about that tunnel at all, it had like a picture of a truck on it, and we are technically short enough to fit in it, but I don't really know where that go route goes. to show you the manoeuvrability of a uh, what's it Arctic because the buses can never get round here in one
So this is the underground car park. Not massive, but it does the job. There's some forklifts. I will park on this end one and see what happens. There we go, we're down. Try and find what we're doing now. So what's happening? Yeah, we're good. We'll get you in first. Me first, yeah. Because the uh, forks are uh, already in there, yeah. Um, so I'm not sure where the exit brings you out. Uh, it hand. brings out to the roundabout. I think I can spin round and come yeah, back. So on the roundabout, you just want to go basically along the road with the Grimaldi on your right. Mm -hmm. And then there's some white gates that are open white now, gates. and you'll see all the forks in there. So not in here. Keep it close to the wall. Don't do what seemingly everyone else has done and rub your wing mirrors on the wall. Oh, it's going to be bright now, isn't it? That exit is tight. All the way around the roundabout. So white gates, yeah, okie doke. So going to part of Monaco I've never gone to before. Hey, all good? Right hand side, yeah, okie doke. Yeah. Well. Hey, dear me. But, uh, oh my gloves. Time to get unloading. I'm driving into a bit of Monaco that I've never done before. But my guy says to go down here over a roundabout because you can't turn around. And then come around at a hairpin and park up on the right. I assume that's for the turning for the roundabout. I'm not this way. That's it. That's the border. Back into France. So just wait here, yeah? Yeah, okay. See ya. See ya. on the right here. And there we go, sit and wait here for my other guy to get unloaded and then try and figure out a way of how we managed to turn around and get back down. So you can turn right in here, it does say 3.8 meters but uh, it's not just a T-junction, it's like a roundabout type thing. You can swing the whole way around and back out again, which is what he's done, and therefore I shall do the same. 4.3. I don't know if that's for this one, it's a massive tool thing, but it's closed. Okay, so 3.8. 
3.8 that way, okay. And there's a the sun, it's got three and a half tons. But uh, there's literally no other way to go. So. No traffic, because I need all of the road. to Monaco, seven and a half tons, no buses allowed, no caravans, 50 kilometers an hour, tough, it's the way we have to go, and we know it can be done because he's done it twice, there's a bit of a squeeze though, Where that route Barre was, if I'd done the U-turn, it would have come straight down there and along here. And along the diamond dust road, all twinkly and sparkly. We'll turn right into this tunnel. Nick a load of next door's lane. Thirty kilometers an hour for trucks. It. We're up and out. Easy as. And now we go back on the motorway. But there you go. Monaco successfully done in a truck and now a bus. Well, in a bus and now a truck even. Hop out the tunnel. This is Italy. Just straight a couple of miles or so inside of it. full already. That could be a problem. And that's a vent Emilia in front of us. The upper suburbs at least. <laughs> Two euro fifty just to drive on a slip road. I'm glad he took the lead. I don't know if I'd made me way through all that. That's a little bit of a maze. Auto Porto trucks to the left. Attention. Before leaving the iPod, check the load compartment for possible intrusion of people. Where are you going to park? through to the front. There's quite a lot of spaces still. I mean it is only 20 to 5 but it is Saturday going into Sunday you'd have thought people would be uh, trying to bag a parking spot. So there's everything like showers and that all over in that building yeah. over there are they? I mean, we could park here and have a walk over and see if there's any spaces. Yeah, yeah. This place is massive. <laughs> Parking spaces here, there and everywhere. But we scoped out down towards the restaurant and we found a couple of parking spots. So that's a little toilet block, that brown patch behind those hedges and white bin. And then come Monday morning, once everyone's left, we can get a more choice spot later. And 
what I'm going to have to do is just double check what the the rules are. I don't know if it's you have to park up uh, and get put up in a hotel for your 45, or if you can, uh, as long as the place has facilities, which this does, it's got a toilet, it's got a restaurant, it's got showers, is that good enough to stay in? Because if it is, I prefer not to leave the truck unattended if I can. Call it a day and get settled in for the week, I suppose. Welcome to hell. Why is that, uh, you ask? Well, uh, in Italy they have this thing since about January until 31st of March, so another two, three, four days, uh, called the Super Green Pass, where you have to have had your Covid injections within 180 days, uh, and mine is a little bit over that. So I am denied use of the restaurant, denied use of the bar, or being able to buy any food or drink, uh, more importantly, denied use of the toilets, denied use of the showers, although at four euro a pop, I'm not sure if I'd want to pay that anyway. Uh, the supermarket is a little bit more chill, they don't care, put a mask on and you go. Uh, their alcohol section is quite nice, it's at least 50% of the shop I'd say. Uh, but yeah, there's brands of all sorts and any kind, uh, prices of any budget, three euro 90 all the way up to 400 and something euro so the supermarket on site is at least okay uh, as for the toilets uh, it's not too bad there are some more just over here but they're 50 cents a time I thought I'd try those out last night uh, there's no lights just a skylight so in the dark you can't really see anything there was no toilet roll and the toilet itself was completely filled up with toilet roll and crap and it was on the verge of overflowing with brown water. One of the other toilets was already overflowing as evidenced by the water cascading out from underneath the door. So yeah, we're wondering whether it's uh, a better idea just to drive straight back into France because no one cares in France, no one's really wearing masks anymore, no one asks questions or looks at anything. Uh, the toilets worked and the showers were free and it was all much nicer. This place empties out quite a bit during the week. It's certainly nowhere near as rammed as it was uh, when we arrived Saturday evening, afternoon. But uh, yeah, supposedly this is the old customs checkpoints when there used to be borders back in the day. But that's the toilet block over there for reference. Down that way behind my truck and the other trucks is the restaurant. Uh, down over there is a hole in the fence that will then get you onto that bridge. So you cross that bridge, turn right, and you'll end up going down into town. Vent Amelia's down that way. Uh, trucks are all right. The other guy's left his night heater on for the last couple of days, so he's got no battery left. So just trying the Anderson leads at the moment. Uh, failing that, I've got jump leads and I'll have to try and uh, get the jump leads across onto his truck. But uh, yeah, mine starts, everything's intact, curtains are fine, fuel's not been nicked. Yeah, yeah. So apart from that one inconvenience, it's all good. Geezer's trucks 
sorted now got it uh, fixed uh, yeah the Anderson lead didn't work in the end we had to get the jump cables out which all of our trucks carry just for such an occasion because uh, call-out charges in Europe are very very expensive so for something simple like that a pair of 20 30 quid jump cables can save you an awful lot of money uh, but yeah, I've tried the Anderson leads, didn't work, so we had to disassemble half of his catwalk to get to the battery box. And luckily the jumper cables that I've got are quite long, so they were able to reach all the way across to his truck. And uh, plugged him in and fired up his truck, left it running for an hour, and it seems to be doing alright now. Luckily I turned everything off in my truck, including the fridge, just to try and save as much power as possible. But uh, yeah. <laughs> He left his night heater running for two days <laughs> and then uh, had no power left. Whoops. Uh, toilets are working. Someone's come along at some point and unblocked them all. I find that quite often people overpay for them, so if you walk along, You'll quite often find one of the toilets has got 20 or 30 cents in it already. You only have to pay like 20 or 30 cents to get it up to the 50. And something's on fire up there. There also appears over the back there behind that white car some sort of mobile Covid testing station. My guy has been down to the restaurant. Apparently they're still exactly the same as they were uh, yeah they're still being as militant as ever he did warn me about that that they're a bit funny here for some reason uh, but yeah it's not just me there's like other italian drivers they're going off it and busted up into some big argument by the sounds of it which sounds hilarious but i don't know why they like that because everywhere in town is super chill don't really care even the supermarket behind them doesn't really care uh, it's just that one restaurant on the site that's just a little bit weird and take everything way too seriously. Time to finally clock on after 182 hours 30 something minutes. <laughs> that's definitely a record. I thought I'd done well on the buses for 127 hours. But uh, other work. Plug that in. Begin country, Italy. Confirm entry, yes. Cool. It could really do with getting on the move today. My battery warning's just come on. And uh, it's a slowly losing fight. Trucks aren't meant to be sat for a week or so at a time uh, without moving, really. They're supposed to be on the road every day. Uh, and the battery has slowly been dying despite the fact that I've run the engine most days apart from when I was in the hotel there's just too many accessories to run the radio charge your phone up TV charge up the laptop night heater which I've tried to use sparingly but I used it quite a bit last night because it was really cold for some reason uh, see if the axles are seized Come on, there we go. Sunday! Technically shouldn't be driving, but oh well. We did ask about parking in the Grimaldi Forum, and uh, <laughs> they make the UK parking look cheap. The old Grimaldi Forum got back to us and uh, said, Ah, oh, you can park here, it's 400 euros a night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no thanks. We'll uh, we'll risk a 90 euro fine. It's much cheaper. Thank you. We're gonna see once we're loaded if we can park on that hill again, because that just reduces the risk of having to drive out again. But if there is no parking, we're gonna have to come back here again. Pay my two euro fifty to use this slip road and back into France, where COVID restrictions are much nicer. <gasps> No overtaking, also including buses. You get that a lot in Italy, I've never really seen that anywhere else. But, uh, particularly in tunnels in Italy, they don't uh, let buses overtake. I 
think that's because they the tunnel bores a bit weirdly offset. So this lane's fine for high vehicles, but on the left hand side the tunnel roof comes down a lot sooner. Uh, if you've ever been through the Blackwall Tunnel, it's the same sort of thing. Uh, you can only drive in the one lane because one side's high enough and the other's not. Said nothing. Monaco. Same as before. Ignore all the car drivers. They're not driving the big truck. They just cruise nice and slow, 15, 20 miles an hour. And they're just going to have to sit and wait and deal with it. They're getting set up for the F1 already. Grandstands are all up. Winners podiums already up. That's not the Grand Prix, it's the E Prix they're setting up for. Them. Okay. I suppose they'll just immediately change everything over for the Grand Prix. Yeah. I've got all the gates open today, it's so much nicer. He's going to try and spin it around there, is he? Good luck. I wouldn't. Gonna hold back in case he has to reverse it all the way back. Then again, there's a gap to go straight on. So. Super tight, if you ask me. But... I'm going to sit here and wait for my other guy to load up, and then he should give me a ring to say that I'm ready. There's not much more to do. Right. Yep. Right, fucking, they're running fucking late, they're useless. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, the rubbish cars will stay there, but it's all going down and around. Yeah. There's a lay-by over there. Over there somewhere. Just slightly further down. Yeah, okay. In there, we're in there. Okay, you yeah. got the carne, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. You got the carne? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Perfect. I'll see if I can find it. How long do you reckon it'll be? 15 minutes? Yeah, something like that. We're going to be soon, yeah. Yeah, okay. Lay-by is full. Well, round the block again we go. And try and get in the second time. Two trucks in there already. Another two trucks in the lay by the van. I saw a police escort for a truck. So who knows when I'm going to get in. This guy's just gone for it and hit one of the big rocks on the roundabout. Uh, there's not much that can happen whilst he's blocking the roundabout though, is there? Beeping horns is not going to unblock a road that's blocked, is it? How did that other guy manage to get around there? Because it does not look like you get around it in a million years. Although... He had the same trouble I had in Italy. He's got a lift axle up front, so his pivot points way further back. So his trailer cuts in a load more. That third axle makes all the difference. It was tight, but other guy got round, but he couldn't. Oh dear, delay 
playing tactics, <laughs> but trying not to lose my place in the queue. Do about three or four laps of the roundabout and uh, head down as slow as I can. Absolutely crazy system. Oh dear, I've made it, right. They're gonna load about lightning fast pace, so there's probably no time to film. So I'll see you on the other side. Descended into complete and utter pandemonium. There's just four or five trucks just constantly circling round because there's literally nowhere to park. You've got. You've had a push, you can get two trucks in there and maybe squeeze one on the outside, but they're not letting people sit outside for some reason. Two in the lay by back there, we're on the hill. taxi rank really but I doubt you'd get away with sitting there but happy days they do have the carne so I've got that back um, it's all loaded I just need to do the TIR cord and seal up the trailer but they're very keen to get me out um, hour and five minutes I took so not bad we're in our hour slot pretty good um, even if even if that was as we promised 2 o'clock apparently, but I didn't get in there till 2.30. Head back to the hill, uh, meet up with my other guy. See what the state of affairs is in terms of parking. And then we're going to see if we can get away with parking on that hill for the night and sit out the rest of the Sunday ban. Oh, he's going for it as well. Oh dear. Good luck. I've only seen one person successfully get around there so far. So that's a perfect demonstration. We've got two trucks that are running on three axles that have gone round no problem. And a guy with a lift axle who didn't, couldn't even get halfway round before he had a problem. be perfect. So that's the right one. I'll fill that in, do a carne, clock off and then we sit here until four or five o'clock in the morning. I'll have to have a word with me other guy as to uh, when we're leaving. But that is that and once I've sorted myself out I will see you in the morning. <laughs> 